male's pheromones, the male performs an elaborate mating dance, seeking to seduce his would-be mate. She waits and watches. If she fails to recognize his courtship ritual, he could become her meal. Finally, she acknowledges his attentions and accepts his advances. After transferring a tiny web of sperm to her, he will beat a hasty retreat. A product of some 400 million years of evolution, a spider the size of a dinner plate stalks the earth today. The one they call Aranyo Peluda, the bird-eating spider. A true giant of the spider world, Aranyo is a close relative of the tarantula and one of the most primitive of all living spiders. Like the tarantula, it builds no web, preferring instead to stalk its prey. Through its fangs, the spider injects a deadly dose of a powerful neurotoxin, a poison strong enough to swiftly kill a small forest mammal or a nesting bird. While the enzymes of the spider's bite go to work digesting the tissues of its prey, the hunter withdraws, but it will soon return to feed. Seeking fresh frontiers to colonize, the giant spiders long ago adapted to a land of bone-dry winds and scorching sun. To some, it may seem a sinister place and a fitting home for the great hairy-legged hunter, the desert tarantula. A grasshopper careless enough to come within reach, makes suitable prey. Its struggles are soon over. The predator retires to dine at leisure in its den. But in nature, nearly every predator is another creature's prey. The tarantula hawk, a ground-dwelling wasp, is the nemesis of the desert tarantula. The wasp appropriates the spider's nest, but it's after more than the tarantula's home. The tiny wasp waits for its oversized victim. Numbed by the wasp's powerful sting, Tarantula proved surprisingly vulnerable. The wasp maneuvers it onto its back, exposing its tender abdomen. It is here that the wasp administers a second paralyzing sting.
Rendered defenseless, the spider is dragged back to its den, which will become its tomb. In the shadows within, the wasp will lay a single egg, and the grub that hatches from that egg will consume the spider alive. In the leafy woodlands of America, one of the most dreaded of all the members of the crawling kingdom makes its home. Here she strings her messy web. The red hourglass on her belly, identifying her as the notorious black widow spider. Only the female of the species is dangerous but she packs one of the most virulent animal poisons known to man, a toxin 15 times more potent than rattlesnake venom. Barely a millionth of an inch in diameter, each strand of the widow's web is stronger than spun steel of the same size, and its coating of glue will snare the unwary. Her legs detect a trembling in the web. A house cricket has stumbled into her trap. Strands of the web hold tight, rendering escape impossible. With her delicate legs, the widow pummels her prey, maneuvering it into position for the fatal bite. Injected at last with a lethal dose of nerve poison, the unlucky guest will go the way of the rest, hung up on a line to ferment into a protein-rich meal, later to be sucked dry. She is renowned as a huntress. One habit sets the widow apart from all the rest. Her role as a femme fatale. Smaller by far than his consort, the male black widow heeds an urge that he cannot resist, the urge to procreate, regardless of the risk. He tweaks the web to signal his intentions. And she signals 